Just when you thought we were actually going to get back to playing some Call of Duty today, we do have another update from the Call of Duty Twitter pages, which are basically detailing some of the content we are going to be receiving for Cold War in 2022. Very, very exciting stuff here. There's actually another round-based zombies map coming to Vanguard as well, which is, again, super exciting. I believe it's a remake of Shino Numa. So another little bit of a Call of Duty update for you here today. So let's jump into it here. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, we are going to be talking about all of the Call of Duty content coming to Cold War and a little bit of Vanguard stuff as well in Treyarch content in 2022. This is very, very exciting. We've been waiting for a little bit to know about Jungle. We saw that was leaked a little while ago. We knew that was coming, but I mean, it's always good to get confirmation of these things. There's more zombie stuff coming, new weapons to Cold War. This is all very, very exciting here. So we're just going to detail some of the stuff here that is in this blog post on the Treyarch website. Of course, there is the round-based zombies experience coming to Vanguard, which is very, very exciting. With the launches of Der Angfang and Terra Maledicta wrapped up, our seasonal updates out in the wild, the Vanguard zombies team is focusing on its efforts on the groundwork required to bring round based zombies to vanguard which should have been probably the focus from the start but it is what it is here we're not too focused on that i'm not a zombies guy but i know some of you out there do enjoy it here while we are extremely excited to deliver this classic style of gameplay for vanguard players we want to set up the expectation up front that it's going to take some time to get it into your hands so this is going to take a little while to come to fruition which is a little unfortunate here but i mean it is what it is this is sort of the thing you do have to expect game development does actually take time this involves extensive systems development from the ground up in a variety of areas areas, including the design, implementation, and testing of round-based wave spawning and AI pathing. You'd imagine you'd be able to use a lot of that from the previous games, like from Cold War, and maybe just ship some of it over into Vanguard just to see how it reacts. But I mean, again, it's going to take a little bit of time for this to come, unfortunately, but it is what it is here. Vanguard's next zombie experience will be a reimagining of the full scope of Shino Numa, first introduced in World at War, which I'm sure some of you may have been your first COD Zombies experience. Maybe you got it on the mobile and you just jumped straight into Shino Numa or you were playing World of War at the time and you jumped into this a little while ago. This is a very, very classic map set in the swamp, of course. There is an all new main quest and side quest to follow, a new area to explore, a new wonder weapon quest, which is super exciting. The classic flogger trap, which is the big spinny wheel thing with like the spike bar that swings around, very cool. And of course the shock defenses, the remastered Easter egg, the new pack a punch camos and a new dark ether narrative for the map, which is of course very, very cool. I've enjoyed following a little bit of the dark ether storyline from the previous Call of Duty. According to the current production schedule that we can see here, they are planning to bring this map to Vanguard after season three concludes, which is a little unfortunate. So we could be seeing this in at least about, I guess about two or three months, I think it is gonna be, which is a little unfortunate, but I mean, it's exciting to have this classic map return. Apparently we are going to be seeing a shift towards the round based zombies development as they have seen that people weren't typically enjoying the current iteration of the zombies. They are gonna be looking at more round based zombies stuff in terms of the Vanguard experience, which I believe is more popular among most players. I'm not a super massive fan of the Vanguard Zombies, so hopefully this does make a little bit of a change, makes it a little bit more enjoyable here. So eventually they are going to be able to deliver Shino Numa to us in a rebuilt, remastered way, which is very, very exciting. I am very much looking forward to it. We might even see some of that on the channel, hopefully when that does launch, I believe again at the end of season three. So talking about a lot of the Black Ops Cold War content coming to multiplayer and wars, and this is very, very exciting. As you can see in the lovely picture that we do have here, this is Jungle. I'm sure so many of you have already played Jungle in the various different games that it has been in. I mean, it's pretty much been in every Black Ops game for a little while because it is an absolute classic. I love the foresty setting, even though it does make it a little bit tricky for me in particular to see a lot of enemies and stuff like that. I'm red, green, colorblind, which makes it a little bit difficult on a map like that with your browns and greens and sort of stuff like that. Makes it tough to see enemies, but I'd still like the map because it is a lot of fun here. So as they have mentioned here, the first batch of Cold War content in 2022 arrived in March with the release of WMD and the Vargo 52 Assault Rifle and the Ferro Fury Reactive Mastercraft Bundle, which we did talk about previously and that was absolutely well received. I love when they do add new content to these old games rather than just ditching them completely because I mean, they saw Van Gogh was struggling a little bit and then they were just like, yeah, let's make some Cold War stuff. So in the coming weeks, we'll be releasing an all new ranged weapon to take into multiplayer zombies and Warzone, which is very, very exciting stuff as well, as well as a familiar face from the campaign as our newest operator. Again, very exciting. In multiplayer, another classic Black Ops remaster will join the 6v6 rotation when we bring jungle into the game. This is one of an absolute favorite map of mine, as well as the creators as well and we can't wait for you to experience it with everything the black ops multiplayer has to offer that's going to be very very cool i do appreciate jungle man in the not too distant future as well they are planning to release a new melee weapon for use in multiplayer zombies and warzone which i'm not super excited about the melee weapons are like fun little gimmicky things like when they did add that sledgehammer i did really appreciate that that was pretty goofy but again, it's not things that I'm super interested in, but of course, additions to the game are always cool. However, in terms of Cold War zombie stuff, it doesn't appear that they're gonna be 
adding any new map content or anything like that, which is a little unfortunate for those of you out there who do enjoy the Cold War style of zombie stuff, which I don't mind. I think that's not too bad. I pretty enjoy that a little bit. But again, they're not going to be adding any new maps or anything like that, but they are going to be messing around with some of the extra sort of stuff. That is also a new secret as well, which is fairly interesting. They are planning on bringing Outbreak Collapse to all platforms. This is a limited time mode in the spiritual successor to the last October's fan favorite limited time mode, where players outlast increasingly intense waves for 10 minutes before attempting to exfil from a single region. I remember that. That was goofy as hell, man. We were trying to get those challenges done for, I believe, the Halloween unlock thing, and we just could not get it done. Because every single random person you join with is apparently terrible terrible at zombies, which is just, it blows my mind how that works. You spend like 15 minutes working on a zombies map and then you don't extract and you just can't do it. It was just, that was a nightmare, but it should be pretty good as well. They are apparently releasing the Abomination Elite Enemy from Forsaken into the wilds of Outbreak with this update as well, which is pretty interesting. Another mean beastie to take out. I mean, that's pretty goofy as well. Try tackling the new HVT Abomination variant that they are adding to the Eliminate Objective, which I mean, that's going to be pretty challenging, I reckon. For Onslaught fans, they are bringing several new limited time modes where the players are on all platforms this year. Again, I wasn't super interested in the Onslaught stuff, but I mean, always nice to have new content getting added to these games. As for that secret that they did mention earlier, there's going to be a new style secret zombies quest thing and then they're gonna have to discover it on your own so it is a very very good time if you haven't already done so to complete all of the six main quests i think i've done like two of them <laughs> from memory so we might go back through and like take a look at some of them but i mean i've only done a couple so this might not be for me but if you have completed all the Cold War zombie stuff, there's going to be a new thing as well. There's a new competitive season, of course, coming to these games, which I mean, we're not super interested in the competitive stuff, but they are adding some new skins and some new rank seasons and stuff, of course, to Vanguard, which Treyarch is actually in charge of, which is fairly interesting. They're adding the new leaderboard, of course, the top 250 skill division, the top 250 leaderboard, the new season and the new skill division stuff, which is, if you are into this, this is very, very cool. I mean, that's pretty much all the content that we can expect. I imagine we are going to be seeing a little bit more of the content content coming to Cold War as well. I can't imagine we're too far away from seeing updates and sort of a little bit of leaks, a little bit of news and stuff about COD 2022. So I imagine once those leaks and stuff do start coming out, they might ditch some of the Cold War content a little bit. So we're basically looking at a timeline of until basically the new details for the new COD start coming out. We're probably going to be looking at more Vanguard stuff, of course, with the seasons. We're almost halfway through the Vanguard lifespan, which is very interesting here. And then of course, a couple more Cold War maps, maybe a couple new guns as well. And then the details details and stuff are going to come out for the new COD and it's going to be a very very exciting time here so if you do want to stay up to date with all of the news across these various games across Cold War across Vanguard across the new Call of Duty make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on I do very much appreciate it it really does help me out of course we are still looking for 6,000 subscribers and if you could help me achieve that goal hopefully very soon I would massively appreciate that so hopefully that does mean you will join me in the next video bye